It's been so cold in Toronto for the past couple of days that I gotta put on a sweater. I'm freezing. This cardigan looks great. So this one has some nice long sleeves, which is gonna keep my arm warm and keeps my neck warm too. All right, I feel like I've wasted enough of your time. So let's go ahead and learn how to edit faster. Let me go empty that tank first. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I feel like 20 pounds lighter after emptying the tank. Woo! So, am I wasting your time right now? I mean, I'm gonna teach you how to save time by editing faster, so I think it's okay to waste a little bit of time. But then again, like I'm kind of contradicting myself, so... You know what? Let's get right into the video. In this video, you're going to learn how to edit faster in about 3 minutes. Or, or 5 minutes. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but let's get right into it. Color grading with an adjustment layer, it's gonna make your editing process so much faster. But hold your horses, chill out, close Premiere Pro, hold on. You cannot put an adjustment layer on your whole sequence and expect to be able to color grade your whole video with one adjustment layer. That's not gonna happen. If you have clips of yourself everywhere, like you know, in the kitchen, in your classroom, you have a clip of yourself in like your car, in your bedroom, I don't know, don't ask me. I, I don't know where you like to record yourself. If you have clips of yourself all over the place, this is not going to work. You need to have clips in the same lighting environment, in the same place, location, whatever, so that the color grading can affect those clips that are in that similar environment. So let's hop into Premiere Pro so I can show you real quick. Right over here, we have what, like five five clips and they're all in the same location as you can see so if I want to color grade these five separate clips then all I gotta do is open up an adjustment layer which would be right over here boom kaboom and then I got you know 24 frames kablam put that adjustment layer on top of these clips kablam right there and now all I gotta do is go on to Lumetri color Hit this baby adjustment layer, make sure that is selected, and then say if I wanna fix the white balance, boom! Click on that little eye drop thingy majigger, and then you know I can just go over here and select one of the white parts of this clip, kabam! And there you go, you got, you know, like white balance right there. And then if I wanna, you know, fix up the exposure, maybe put some darker scenes in there and really high contrast and like no highlights and like shadows you want to bring down a lot and then like whites you want to bring down also and blacks bring down like because sometimes I don't like looking at myself so yeah now that has affected all the clips as you can see but if I were to reduce the adjustment layer and then I go BAM there I am peekaboo I'm playing peekaboo with you guys All right guys, enough playing around. Let's get to the second point on how to edit faster. Start organizing your damn files. Like honestly, this is one of the most boring tips, but one of the most crucial as well. And this will really, really help you. So let's hop in here. Let's go to videos where I have all my secret videos. Uh, and then I go to YouTube. And then after that, if I go into YouTube, uh, you know what, let's go to my first vlog. Very embarrassing and Obviously organizing my files didn't make that vlog any more interesting, but yup, so I organized my vlog, I mean my files, which actually gave me a better editing experience even though my video was trash, but the editing experience was good, it was fast and efficient, so as you can see, I have all my files over here, I got Blue Flower Media, that's when I went to Blue Flower Media in that vlog, I got my B-roll, I got my event when I went to an event that day, I have all of those clips there, my morning, music, outro, time lapse, and traveling, so this actually helped me you know, edit so much more faster and efficiently I'm not saying you have to follow this you know folder guide or whatever you can make your own guide but stop being lazy and start you know organizing your files alright guys so my last tip would be keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro this is one of the most crucial ones I mean I think I've said that for all of my points but you know I give good advice so all of them are crucial but this is really really going to be a time saver so what you have to do is go into edit over here and then go into keyboard shortcuts or you can press control alt K I don't know what it is for Mac because I don't use Mac Windows all day and then what I have that I use a lot is my Q key on the keyboard which is ripple trim previous edit to playhead so what that does is that if I have my playhead over here 
and then I want to cut everything before the playhead in this clip and then move everything over so it attaches onto this. I can hit Q, boom, it deleted everything before the playhead and moved the clip over and this is going to make your life so much easier when it comes to editing to music, which is actually one of the pro tips on, you know, becoming a better editor, you know, editing to music. So this will help you out at the same time if I go to edit keyboard shortcuts and then look at my W key which is ripple trim next edit to playhead so it's very similar to what what I showed you already but kind of the opposite so if I go over here and I want to delete everything after the playhead and then move the clip over so that it attaches to you know the second clip over here I press W kaboom there you go so everything after the playhead was deleted and then the clips after that moved to the left so that you know it's one sequence and it's attached together and then lastly if, you, if I go to edit and then go to keyboard shortcuts, you know, I'm not even utilizing my own advice. You know, I could have just pressed control, alt, K, boom. Instead of just going to edit to scene, get with the program. Anyway, so there's add edit on X. So if I go to X, there's add edit. You can add that for yourself as well if you don't have it in Premiere Pro. So what that does is that say if I go over here and I want to make a cut, usually what people would do is go to this razor tool, which is C. So they can press this or they can press C on their keyboard and then go ahead and make a cut. But you know what? We smarter than that. So we don't do that. Control Z, you know, reverse what I did. I'm going to press V, V for Victor. I'm going to press V because I know a lot of brown people, they say V and sounds like B. So no, I'm saying V for Victor. Uh, press V and it gets back to your mouse. And then you can hit X to make that cut. And if I wanna come over here, make another cut, hit X again, boom. Cuts all day, cuts all day. Cuts, 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 cuts all day. Move 10 frames down, 20 frames down, cuts all day. That's what I'm saying. Make sure you start utilizing your keyboard shortcuts, especially that those three that I showed you, it's gonna save you so much time when it comes to editing music and just editing in general. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking around and listening to me babble and giving you guys advice. And if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the advice, enjoyed the advice, enjoy. enjoy. Man, I forgot, I, I think I forgot how to speak English. I gotta take a sip of this coffee. I don't know what this had to do with uh, me forgetting English. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Please, please, please down below. And if you want to keep seeing advice like this and becoming a better editor and see nice vlogs and stuff, you want to see my face, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I will miss you guys. And I don't know why I just said that, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Thank <laughs> you.